All right, so today we're going to talk about the hole feature in Onshape. It's a very powerful tool. It can make a bunch of different types of holes from just a simple through hole all the way to counter bore and counter sinks, uh, threaded, not threaded, and everything in between. All right, let us begin. So you see that I have a simple uh, block here, just a little rectangle, but I do have points drawn on my surface here. And the whole feature in Onshape is going to uh, base its holes or the center of the holes off of points. You can use uh, mate connectors if you wanted to, but I chose to use points. So right here is our hole button, and you click on this, and this lovely thing pops up. A bunch of different uh, choices come up, and you can make a bunch of different types of holes. So I'm going to just start with a simple hole, and it's just going to be through, and I'll choose custom. What that means is now I'm setting my diameter. So let's say I make it 0.25. Again, this is where you would choose a mate connector if you wanted to instead but I'm going to choose this first point here. And since I chose through, you'll notice it goes through the entire uh, block. First hole type. Second hole type. Let's look at it here. So instead of simple, oh no, let's leave it, sorry, let's leave it simple, but instead of through, you'll notice that I can also choose blind or I can choose blind and last. Blind and last would be if I had a bunch of parts stacked on top of each other. It would go through all the first few, but then the last one I have a certain depth or a certain blind depth that I want to go through. But instead of custom here, I'm gonna choose ANSI. And you'll notice as well, I can change the type. So ANSI again is our whole type size. Obviously there's ISO, there's DIN and PIM, ISO for metric stuff, ANSI for standard American stuff. Uh, I'm going to choose tapped as in it's going to be threaded and now i can choose my size again this time i'll choose quarter inch again here's my threads per inch tpi let's go 28 and this here is already set for you based on the hole size that you chose you choose a different hole size um different thing will come up right i'm going to stick to just quarter inch i'll do 28 so this number here tap through all and then i'll choose that point all right, now you may notice something. It looks like that hole is smaller than that hole, even though both of them I chose a quarter inch or 0.25. And that's actually because if you look over here, let that update a second, I've actually had, uh, Onshape doesn't really th show threads, right? But what it does is it'll show this hidden line feature on your drawing sheet based off of you know the threads that we chose. So while it doesn't show threads, and when I'll show you at the end here, I'll do a whole call-out table, uh, it is showing the inner and outer diameter. So what we're seeing up here is the inner diameter of our threaded hole. Uh, this hidden line dash, if I was to show hidden lines on the surface here, you'd see that the diameter goes all the way out there. All right, let's go our next hole. I can also do, um instead of through instead of simple i'm going to do a counter bore hole what's the point of a counter bore hole right that's to have two different uh, diameters up top so you want to hide the uh, have a flush nut on the top or flush bolt whatever it may be but i can change all this as well uh, this one i'll just do clearance as in it's just a through hole doesn't have any threads on it but you have your inner diameter or your small diameter that's going to go all the way through the part your outer diameter of the nut or bolt head that you want and how thick that might happen to be. So I'm going to again choose my inner hole to be, and now let's make this one 0.125 and then let's make this backwards. I want this to be the bigger number. I want this to be the smaller number and the depth down. Sure. Let's also make that a quarter inch and I'll choose that there. So you'll notice now I have a stacked hole. And what that looks like on your drawing sheet would be your two diameters there, but also shown here. And here's that depth that I chose of 0.25 going down, diameter 0.25 as well. But this here, this eighth hole is going all the way through. All right, let's go to our next hole. Pull that up a little bigger for you. I don't know if I've been doing that consistently, but let's go ANSI again. This time I'm going to do uh, is that it's threaded and again you'll have your choice of uh, threads per inch and this is already set again right I have my whole size all this is based off of uh, a standard bolt or standard uh, nut fitting in there as well and then I'll choose that point check mark so I have the quarter inch hole on the inside there this time let's mix it up and let's choose 
countersink and countersink would be for screw heads right so this angle uh, is by default it's already set but it is something that you can adjust as well and let's just make this one uh, drill through drill size that we're going to use right let's go closer to what we've been doing right oh lots of options here there you go quarter inch hole sketch point right there and again the top the angle and all that is already set by default by just using a standard um already set answer standard screw uh in on shape right so again this is what this would look like on your drawing sheets with your different counter sink and counter bores threaded and all that fun stuff all right the last thing i want to show you guys is how to actually put this on your drawing sheet yourself so i'm going to clear that off and i also want to show you how to make a drill hole call out table all right i got my standard a size sheet here i'm going to insert my view of this particular part right we'll have the front view but i also want the top view to show all my holes pull that up as well and you'll notice my front view here isn't showing anything you can always right well i'm still in the insert view you can right click and show hide you can show hide hidden lines zoom in here touch and you'll see that it is showing all our thread inner outer diameter you can hide the threads as well so it's not actually showing the threaded parts but this generally speaking is not what you'd want to use for this whole uh, cutouts you'd want to use a section view right so up top here you have this section view choose section view i'll have it horizontal cutting through my object and i'll go through uh, down here section a a and you'll see your countersink your counter bore and your threads all shown here with your section planes and all that fun stuff but one other very helpful thing when you have holes and the reason why you want to use holes more often than not is that you can have a hole table which is right up here click on that bad boy uh, location data will be based off of coordinates so i'm going to actually not have that checked off and the view is going to be the holes off of this face here so now if i hit check mark i have a table uh, showing all my different holes right and it's everything that i typed in before all the diameters our thread sizes our counter board depths and counter sink depths sunk depths right are all right here as well as your labeled per hole and obviously if you had the same hole multiple times the quantity count would go up you can always move your labels if they're overlapping things but obviously they're there to signify your holes all right good luck have fun